In this video, we will learn more about classes and objects. So what is a class? A class contains information on something that we can use. For example, we can, con we can have a class that contains math calculations, or we could have a class that contains string manipulation. On a practical level, we could have a class called human beings that has information about human beings. Or we could have a class about cars that contains information relevant to cars. In each case, when we create a class, we are actually creating a blueprint for that class in terms of what it contains and how it behaves. The question is why do we need to create classes? Well, one major advantage of using classes is its ability to reuse code. By reusing code, it saves us lots of time and prevents duplication in the code. If we write the code once, and have it stored in a particular class, that class then then be called multiple times to achieve the task that you want. Classes can be in two forms. They could either be in the form of a library or they could be in the form of an object class. Let's look at each case. Library classes. Library classes contained, contains predefined functions or procedures. These predefined functions could be into string, something that we commonly use, or it could be a show message procedure that is also frequently used for displaying information. The code for these predefined functions and procedures are written for us by Delphi and they stored in a library. Each time we need to make use of it, the library is called or the function is called and the information is obtained from the library in which it is stored in. For example, the into string is stored in the library called sysutils. Each time I need to make use of into string to do a conversion from into string, I need to import this particular library so that the code can be found and the function can be executed. Similarly, if we want to use the predefined procedure called show message, in this case, I need to import the library called dialogues. In most cases, when you start a project in Delphi, all of these libraries are automatically imported for us. Therefore, we don't need to physically enter anything in the users section. The one instance when we do need to enter something in the users section is when we want to make use of random range. This is when we are generating random numbers. This particular function is contained in the math class. So should you want to use that function, we usually add the class math to our user section. These like classes uh, are stored in libraries and they are in units. And as I indicated, they are part of the users section. So how does it actually work? If I need to make use, let's assume that I'm on my form, that's my project. And within my form, I need to use the predefined function int to string. This into string is contained in a library called
called Sisutons. When Delphi comes across the interstring function, it immediately looks to see if it can find the library. Once it finds the library, it then goes into the library and finds the particular function into string. Having found that, it executes whatever value it needs to convert from an integer to a string, and the result is sent back to the form. So there's communication between the form and the library in which the function is being called. Let's look at object classes. This refers to the GUI, the graphic user interface components that we normally use in Delphi. This could be in the form of forms, which is the default whenever you start a new project. They could be in the form of buttons, edit boxes, labels, check boxes, etc. These components are called object classes. For example, when we create a button, in the properties section, we can change the caption of the button property. Or we could change the name of the button property. Or we could change the visible property. There are many properties that we could change within the button component. Similarly, we could also change the way the button behaves. We could write code for an on-click event. These are our events. On an on-click event, the button will then behave in a certain way. So each of these components have its own blueprint. And the blueprint is made up of attributes, which are the properties or the actual data. So these are the properties for the button component. And it contains behaviors. These are the behaviors in terms of how the button would behave. And one blueprint will differ from the other. For example, the blueprint for a button will be different from the blueprint of an edit box or of a label. All of these GUI components are part of the Delphi programming interface. They predefined and we can use them multiple times. And that's how the concept of reusability comes out. The next important point to understand is the concept of instantiation. The concept of instantiation is when an object is created. The object is created and it is initialized with values. That means we have instantiated the object. For example, when we take a button and place that onto the form, a button object is created. In other words, the button is instantiated. We can then give it attributes and we can change its events. But by placing, once I place the button onto the form, the button is created, instantiated with default values, and the blueprint for the button class is used to change the button properties and the button behavior or events. This is what makes these components reusable. I could take multiple buttons and place them on my form and change their properties in different ways. This is just a basic understanding of classes and objects.